Welcome to another episode of the Tiny House Master Plan, where we build a state-of-the-art tiny house, take it for a tour across Canada, and then give it away. In this video, we are going to be showing you how we install a window. And we're going to explain step-by-step step how to do it and why. I want to say a huge shout out of thanks to all of our amazing sponsors that made this happen and our Nate students, my minions who are here shooting with us here today. Now we are installing these flange style windows. They have this flange that goes all around the perimeter and you nail it and screw it to your sheathing. Now we chose to use these windows specifically. These are Duxton fiberglass windows. Fiberglass is usually a more expensive window type, but it lasts longer than other windows. Now that's reason one we chose these windows. Reason two is their incredible efficiency. This has eight 0.33 R value on center. That means that you have more climate control inside your house, more comfort, you save money on heating and cooling, and you save the environment. The third benefit comes from getting a really efficient window is that you get less condensation on the inside of your windows, which means you don't get as much mold. So those are some of the benefits and why we chose these windows specifically. I'm now gonna show you step-by-step step how to put one of these in on our tiny house. Okay, so let's show you step by step how to put this window in. The number one thing you have to worry about when installing a window is water. You need to make sure that water can't get into your window, and if water does get in, it can get out as quickly as possible and not carry it into the rest of your structure. So as long as you always think, what will water do? You'll be able to justify every one of these steps. So the first step that you need to do is actually to prepare your window opening. Now, that involved for us drilling at the corners and then cutting out this square after we'd had all the sheathing put on the house. Now, after that, you need to prepare your sill surface. Now, we have actually a specialty type of water nice membrane that goes with the panels that we use. So this is the panel system, zip panels. They're fantastic. They're a sheathing, they're a house wrap, and they're an outsulation all in one. So this is their stretch tape, and it's what we are going to use here on the sill. So we need to make a surface that's going to drain water. I have pre-cut an angled shim. You can see this thing is, is angled and we are gonna install it on this flat surface. So now we have an angle to the outside. This now allows any water that falls here to roll itself out. We've made a self-draining window. So we are now going to uh, get this guy tacked down, which is the next step. Let's get to it. So now we need to make this watertight. So let's go ahead and grab our stretch tape from Zip. Now, when you're looking at how much of this you want to put down, you need to go about six inches up on either side. And there we have our piece sized out. So what we do is we lay it in place and we start to peel it and we just guide it on where we want it to stick. And now what I'm gonna do is I can slowly peel out the backing, grab our oh so handy zip spatula thing. I don't even know what you call this, but you use this guy to really push into that corner to get a really tight fit with this stretch tape. So now I've got it into the corner. I'm gonna to continue to pull and line it up with the windowsill, occasionally pressing it down and making sure I've got good adhesion. This is where it gets cool, watch this. So this is the stretch tape. You're gonna take your thumbs, stick them in the corner, push around the corner and adhere. All of Zip's tape system have a foolproof way of adhering, especially to they use a roller. What's fantastic with this roller is it has little tiny Zeds in the middle of the roller. So you know you've pressed hard enough when you can see the Zs in the tape. So I'm gonna make sure we really did this well. I'm gonna take the roller and I'm gonna roll it across the whole sill. We've now created a water tight sloped sill for our window to sit within. The next step is to place your counter shim. 
We just created a sloped surface. If we put the window in right now, it'll want to fall out. So we need to actually have a counter shim. And when you cut your wood to make this, you can keep the off cut and cut into smaller pieces. Set it down like so, and your window is going to sit down right on there. So now that we have our counter shims in, so we can test fit our window, we're gonna put some of the zip regular tape on the edge, sealing this OSB from getting any moisture to it. See, water's rolling down here, crosses down onto the sill, and then rolls out. Okay, so now we've actually taped up the sides and the top to cover up the exposed OSB so it doesn't swell when moisture gets to it. So let's just roll it now to make sure we got good adhesion. Make sure we get those Zs in the tape. Okay, so now we have our window prepped and we're ready to test fit our window. like a glove <laughs> and there we go so now that we've test fit this this looks good we like it i'm very happy with how this looks we now take it back out and then we put down our silicone so this is silicone that has rated uh, for using on your windows and doors so now we are going to go around the edge and we're going to put our silicone down Now what's critical about this is you're not gonna put it on the bottom. And that's because we just work so hard to allow water out. The last thing you wanna do is lock that water into your window. So now we are ready. So we are going to place this guy in, set it down nice and slow and gentle. Good. So now we've got a silicone bead around three sides of the window to stop water from getting in. Now flanges have nailing and screw holes, as you can see. We are using um, these specialty stainless screws for biting into the metal stud. And that's exactly what you want to see. You want to see your silicone gooping out from the sides, indicating that you have made a good seal. And then along the bottom, you don't need to put them in because again, we're not trying to make a seal. Okay, so now our window is in and I need to make one clear point here. Again, think like water. We now have a seal around the whole window that should be water resistant. But if water does get in, which at some point in the life of your window, it is very likely it'll happen that water can go down the sides and drain out the bottom, which is why we also didn't put that silicone down here or screwed it in. The last step is to tape up the sides. So again, we're gonna go up this side, we're gonna go up this side, and then we put a piece across the top that crosses over top of these side ones. And there you go, a completed installed window that is as watertight as we can make it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to install a window. Make sure to subscribe to follow this journey as we continue to build this amazing tiny house using the best companies and products that we can find so that we can take it for a tour across Canada to entertain and educate people during these crazy times we live within. At the end of that tour, we give it away. Make sure to subscribe here on the channel for your chance to win. All right, that's it for today. We'll see you on the next episode of the Tiny House Master Plan. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> now that I got on camera. <laughs> but soft, what light through your underwear? Let down your hair. <laughs>